Uh, thank you, Minister. I now recognize the House Leader for the Third Party. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you to the Minister for the response to yesterday's question. I just have one question I'm going to ask this morning and then hand things off to my colleague uh, for Saanich North and the Islands. Uh, the BC government still has a fact sheet on old growth posted on their website, published in 2013 under the previous Liberal government. This fact sheet opens with, quote, old growth forests are not disappearing. There are more than 25 million hectares of old growth forests in BC. On another website, government states that old growth forests compri comprise about 23% of forested lands and about 13.2 million hectares. I'm concerned about the discrepancy between these two numbers and that the government continues to post misleading statistics on the state of old growth. Independent scientists using government's own data found that 80% of the 13 million hectares is small trees. Given this, my question to the minister is, will government change their communication around old growth to accurately represent what type of old forest actually remains and to show the difference between productive old forests that support large trees and the small trees that represent the vast majority of the total. Recognizing the minister. Well, thank you very much, Chair, and uh, through you to the member. Uh, so, the uh, it's important to note, uh, and I believe uh, the member had it in in in, in preamble to her question that uh, we do have um, uh, we do use. Uh, the definition of old growth stated in the 1995 biodiversity guidebook and that's uh, in general uh, that definition is uh, trees 250 years or older on the coast and 140 years uh, and older in the interior and of course there's some um, 
further factors that refine the definition based on the frequency of natural disturbances and ecological units. But that's generally uh, what we use. Uh, as far as um, the uh, findings of the independent science report and the numbers they use, uh, uh, the amount of hectares of old growth forest uh, in, in, uh, uh, reported provincially at 13.2 million hectares corresponds reasonably well with that generated by um, uh, the forest inventory uh, analysis and inventory branch at 13.7 million hectares. So, um, you know, we've committed to engagement on the, uh, on the panel report, the independent panel report. I know that they were in receipt of the uh, independent investigators, scientists uh, report. Uh, we uh, are uh, committed to taking uh, action on updating our uh, the government's old growth strategy. Uh, and we do recognize that better access to government data and information on old growth is needed. Um, that's been something that's, uh, that's been uh, repeated by users uh, of the database and uh, by those uh, who have an interest in old growth uh, forest management in BC. So uh, we're gonna have more to say as we uh, do the analysis on the panel report. And, uh, and it's all about uh, building uh, trust uh, with the public, um, ensuring that we uh, have uh, biodiversity um, uh, and, and ecosystems uh, that reflect uh, the diversity in BC that is, are sustainable, as well as, uh, you know, protecting uh, forest economies in rural communities for uh, workers and jobs. Uh, thank you, Minister. Does the House Leader of the third party have any further queries of the Minister? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will, uh, I will hand it over to my colleague. He will follow up with a question. Thank you. 